Howdy y'all, I'm TJ with Bear Clan Gaming, and this is another 7 Days to Die guide, Fast XP in Alpha 20. On this video, I'll walk you through the fastest ways to gain XP and boost your game and loot stages. Some of these methods can be done in the earliest stage of the game, and others require you to be a bit further in. Let's start at the beginning. Our first method, settings. This is early game, the XP multiplier. 7 Days to Die has numerous settings at the start of the game, including the XP multiplier. Under the basic settings tab, the XP multiplier can be increased to 300% tripling how fast you gain XP. If you feel the early game is too slow and you want to speed through it, this is a good option. This can also be dialed back to the standard 100% anytime the game is restarted. Once in the game, our second method is mining. Another early game fast XP method. Mining is one of the first ways to quickly gain XP in 7 days to die. At first it's a slow process, but there is a way to increase your XP gain. Harvesting iron ore, wood, stone, sand, and soil will provide XP, about 0.7 per unit harvested on average. But if you want fast XP, and if you're watching this video, I believe that's what you're after. Lead, oil, shale, nitrate, and coal provide five times the XP per unit harvested. So early game, if you're not looting at night, it would be wise to start mining for lead, oil, shale, which is found in the desert biome only, nitrate, and coal the fast XP. These XP gains are set per unit harvested, so the faster you harvest, the faster you gain XP. More points into Miner 69er and better tools means a faster harvest and faster XP. Many players have dug a massive mine for the first 7 days and come out ready to handle the Blood Moon Horde with all the XP gains put into combat skills. You can also boost mining XP with the Art of Mining Volume 3 and Coffee as this provides a 10% boost to harvest. Our third method, the Nerdy Glasses and Learning Elixir. This is an early all the way to end game fast XP method. There are two things that boost your XP in 7 days to die. The Nerdy Glasses and Grandpa's Learning Elixir. The Nerdy Glasses can only be looted or purchased from the traders. It cannot be crafted. They give a 10% boost to all XP gains while wearing them. Grandpa's Learning Elixir can be looted, crafted once the recipe is found or unlocked via Master Chef Level 5, or purchased from the traders and gives a 20% boost to XP gain for 4 minutes. The Learning Elixir is costly to make as it requires both Super Corn and Acid, which are not always easy to find, especially Acid in Alpha 20. If you see this in the trader's inventory or find it while looting, always save it for a special occasion, namely the Blood Moon Horde or when trying one of these fast XP methods. Our fourth method, Resource Stacks, is a mid to late game XP boost. Crafting Resource Stacks gives an insane amount of XP for how quickly it can be done. Once you get your hands on the Art of Mining Volume 5, certain resources can be crafted into stacks for your easier storage. It requires 6,000 units of each resource to craft one stack, but without any boosts, they give thousands of XP each time they're crafted. Here are some real numbers for this process. For the first stack of resources crafted, you get 18,000 XP, and on the second, 9,000 XP. And this number gets smaller every time a stack is crafted for that resource, 6,000, 4,500, 3,600, 3,000, and so forth. You only need 6,000 of each resource to restack over and over. And with seven resources that can be stacked in this manner, stone, potassium nitrate, lead, coal, oil shale, wood, and iron. And the nerdy glasses and grandpa's learn elixir giving 30% XP boost together. If you plan it out correctly, you can get over 400,000 XP in a matter of minutes. Depending on when you perform this, you can go up dozens of levels. Our fifth method for fast XP 7 days to die is called Screamer Farming. This works mid to late game. Screamer Farming is when you generate enough heat in a certain chunk to attract a Screamer Zombie. Each Scream generates zombies and as long as she keeps screaming and the heat source keeps going, they keep coming. Some examples of heat sources include campfires, forges, torches, and burning barrels. As you kill these spawn zombies, you gain XP and as long as she keeps screaming, they just keep coming. This is what I consider a mid to late game source of fast XP as you need a ready means of killing zombies effectively. You can't be just using stone arrows and wooden clubs here. If ammo is less of a concern than XP gains, then firearms will be very effective here as firearms add to the heat generated. More heat equals more screamers equals more XP. After you have obtained the desired amount of XP, you can simply stop the heat source and wait for the last screamer to end it. Think of this process as a toned down blood moon horde. And if you have access to Nerdy Glasses or Grandpa's Learning Elixir, then even better. A little bonus to this process is the chance for slain zombies to drop loot bags. This can aid in our final method of fast XP. Our final method of fast XP is selling items to the traders. Every item you sell to the traders will also give you XP. The XP amount is equal to the selling price of the item without our handy Nerdy Glasses or Learning Elixir boosts. 
With the nerdy glasses and or learning elixir, we can boost that XP output with each cell. In addition to the XP boosts, we can increase the prices with boosts resulting in even more XP. These selling boosts include the Sugar Butts Candy, Better Barter Skill, and Magnum Enforcer Volume 4 with a Magnum or Desert Vulture equipped. You also want to focus on the most profitable items in the game, such as weapons parts, modified weapons tools, armor, and other high value items. Just remember, traders will only buy three stacks of an item or just three non-stacking items like guns, so plan accordingly. If you would like a guide to getting the most money out of the traders, please leave a like. Enough likes and I'll put together an ultimate seller's guide to the traders. Or leave a comment with some other fast XP methods not mentioned here to help out the other survivors out there. Alrighty, if then. you thought this video was helpful, Stay please safe, subscribe. Buddy. And until next time, laters.